How's it going, Rogues Gallery, and welcome to another Grand Archive video here on Red Zone Rogue. Today, we're going to be opening a mystery package sent to me by the developers of Grand Archive. What's inside? I really don't know, but I'm very, very excited to open it up. And of course, before we get started, I do want to give you a little word from today's sponsor, myself. Go ahead and check out redzonerogue.com for all of your card gaming custom merch needs. I have sleeves by Dragon Shield. I have play mats. I'm going to have shirts very, very soon. So go ahead and check that out in the description down below. If you like the style for Grand Archive, one of the artists for Grand Archive has actually done some stuff for me. Her name is Honshu. She's absolutely fantastic. And she's done a couple pieces of like anime style merch for myself. So go ahead and check out redzonerogue.com in the link or rather a link in the description down below. But without further ado, let's get started opening this mystery package from Grand Archive. It's actually kind of big, so let's do it. All right, let's do this. So the developers actually told me they're gonna be sending this to me. They didn't tell me what was inside of it, but they were like, hey, we're just gonna send you a little thing. You don't have to make a video out of it. We're just gonna send you a thing. Um, so I assume it's just out of thanks. Um, for like the, the content that I make, which I, I, I appreciate. A lot of hard work goes into that content. Um, and I, I really, really do believe in and support this game. Like all transparency here, I backed the Kickstarter for a lot. Let's say, let's just say four figures. Um, and uh, yeah, and so they're like, yeah, you don't have to even make a video. But I was like, I'm gonna make a video out of it because I really love Grand Archive and I want more people to know and I think the more content that's out there, the cooler stuff I can show you, the more people, oh, oh dude, the more people um, can like check out this awesome game. And so, hold on, so we have, we have this art series deck box. Hold on, we're gonna set, we're gonna just take this stuff out and set it aside here because I know this is not good, good content. We have this deck box, which I'm very, very excited about, actually. And then we have some... Holy crap! This is way more than I thought! Holy crap, hold on. Hold on, this is a ton of stuff. Um, I think these are sleeves. Um, so we'll take th we'll take these out. Um, and then we have a play mat. And... I think that's it. Alright, I, I, think, I think that's it. Alright, so, we have this... Official Grand Archive Spirit of Water Playmat. We're probably gonna crack this out and use it as this instead. Even though this artist, oddly enough, maybe not oddly enough, because she's absolutely fantastic, she actually works on Grand Archive now. So uh, that's, I, and I talk about her a lot these days because she did our card back art um, and she did also our new summer swimsuit art that you might not know about because I only posted about that on We Cross Zone because that art piece was done for We Cross players and anime fans. Um, but we do have a new summer um, swimsuit, the Cards at the Beach art, uh, with this artist. Her name is Honchu. She's absolutely fantastic, one of my favorite anime artists. And she works for Grand Archive now. Well, it doesn't work for, she makes art that is going to be in Grand Archive. Um, I think like it's freelance. I think that's how the TCG in the industry does it. But anyway, let's open this up and check it out, dude. Um, so, uh, yeah, really happy to have one of these Grand Archive play mats for the inevitable onslaught of Grand Archive videos that I'm going to be doing. So I'm, I'm pretty, pretty happy about this. Um, this is just a very simple one. It's just the spirit of water. Oh, then it's upside down. Um, yeah, look at that. That's, uh, the spirits are basically your like starting champions and they dictate what elements you can play. So if you have this one as your starting one, you can play the water element. We also have this promotional pack. Um, it says P22-1. I'm not sure what that means. Um, I have kind of like done a, you know, a, a gander, I guess you could say, at all of the Grand Archive promotional stuff, but I don't have them memorized. Uh, and then we have these deck boxes. This one in, in particular, I really wanted. I'm not gonna lie. This Sylvie deck box was so cute. It's so cute. And I saw it, I'm like, it's so cute. I really want that. And then of course, this is the one, this is the Lorraine um, one that they showed off at uh, on the Kickstarter, right? So you could add this onto your Kickstarter. Um, and then certain people over a certain pledge level would get one of these. So this is, this is awesome. So um, yeah, we're gonna take a look at all this stuff here. These, I think, are sleeves, beautiful, 
absolutely beautiful artwork here. And like I mentioned, I, I really do believe in this game. Like genuinely, I think this game is 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 excellent. And I think it, it really has what it takes to go the distance. Foil mat, wait, they're foil sleeves. Hold on, we're gonna definitely open these up and check them out. Um, and this is me being a, a huge nerd. I'm like, I wanna keep some of these for display, but I'm also gonna open some up and use them. So I wanna keep the nicest one. So I'll keep that one, so we'll open up this one. And then out of these two, this is Rai. He is a wizard or mage, I believe they're called in Grand Archive. Um, and this is Lorraine and she is a warrior. Let's check them out, let's, op let's open these up. Um, where's my box cutter? Here we go. We're just gonna try to get that under and then create a create a little break here so it'll be easier to tear. Cause it, it feels like this is like hard plastic. Yeah, this is like a hard plastic wrapping as opposed to like a soft plastic wrapping. So you just need a little, just need a little tear so you can finish it. Ooh, the box packaging is actually kind of nice. It's like, it is matte. Um, and, uh, but yeah, like I said, I, I have videos going over a lot of Grand Archive stuff already and I'm gonna be doing more because like I said, I, I really, I, I'm gonna be mainlining this game. So that means I'm gonna be doing all of the things that I normally do for games like um, Flesh and Blood. Yo, dude, look at this, this is sweet. These are foil sleeves. So if you really like, oh dude, they did they did the right thing. They put the uh, they put uh, a black background here. You know what? I actually have ugh, right here um, some demo decks that I actually bought from eBay because I haven't been able to make it out to any of these events to get any of this stuff. Um, so, uh, I bought some of the Grand Archive demo decks on eBay. So, you should be able to get these for free once they have the proper versions at LGSs. So, uh, LGSs will be able to give these out for free. And these are just like the demo decks, right? Uh, they just, they have no elements. Um, they just have like this uh, basic spirit, right? So, not instead of a spirit of fire or whatever, they just have a basic one. Um, but like, this is kind of what we're getting into with Grand Archive. Look how amazing this looks, right? And then, hey, look, same artist. This is uh, Haunt You. Uh, same artist as the, the mat that I showed off. Same with this one. Um, absolutely beautiful artwork here. And the the coloring, it, it just everything looks so good. It looks so good and crisp. Anyway, what I, what I pulled this out for uh, is um, the sleeves. Let, let's see how these look. Let's put this Lorraine in this Lorraine sleeve. Yo, I love the foiling, dude, it's so cool. It's so cool. I really dig that. I really dig that. I'm definitely gonna use those at some point. Um, these ones are currently just in Dragon Shield Dual Mats. Sponsor of this channel, Dragon Shield. You should check them out. I have an affiliate link in the description down below. Uh, these are just two of the same um, demo decks that I can um, play with people. Namely my partner, but uh, other people too who wanna play some games with me. All right, so. Th that is super cool. I, I love the foil sleeves. That is a very like Japanese TCG thing to do. Um, and then you can also get, if you didn't know, if you're not a giant weeb like me and don't know all of the cool Japanese uh, TCG super secret tech, they actually have outer sleeves that you can put on your character sleeves um, to protect them so they don't get all scuffed up. Because sometimes sleeves can be pretty rare uh, for um, like in Japan, like uh, certain Yo, dude, this one looks sick, the, the spell. Oh, dude. And so people really like, you know, take good care of their sleeves, right? Because they're like, oh, they're exclusive rare sleeves that they only got at like an expo or something. And, um, and you can get like these outer sleeves for them. And so you could do that for something like this. These look really nice. They look really nice. They, they, they definitely have like this kind of like matte feel. Yeah, these are cool. Um, I'm not sure. I, I have a feeling that these will be, these kind of products will be available on their merch store once it's available. No, if you watch that video that I did, the last Grand Archive video that I did, talking about, we'll do this one last actually, uh, talking about the um, their new website, there is a merch section on the website that was like, you know, that's not available yet. I imagine this kind of stuff would be on the website, which is cool. I, I, I really dig that. And you know what? I, I gotta say, and I don't want to dunk on other other card games, but I love that their merch 
is tailored towards their game. Now, if they do like, you know, shirts and stuff, that, that's totally fine. You know, I'm doing my own shirts too. But I love at least like their first instinct, right? Is to make merch for card gamers, deck box, sleeves. This is the kind of the things that card gamers want, you know, because they are into card games, right? And so, you know, this is the kind of stuff that I know, um, you know, my, my personal, you know, favorite game, Flesh and Blood, is just now doing, and I think it's awesome. Um, so, like, here is this, uh, so once again, this was the art series Lorraine box. It holds, um, each holds up to 100 double-sized cards. Ooh, you know what? I might have to swap out this uh, Dragon Shield. By the way, th these Dragon Shield little boxes are great. Um, they're just kind of like great little things. But I like to... Uh, I like to accessorize, so I think we're gonna uh, put those in this Grand Archive box. So let's see, we open it up. Oh, it has like this little tissue paper, you know, to keep to keep things uh, to keep things nice. A little bit of the uh, tissue paper was stuck, but easily. Dude, look at that! Yo, look at that! Looks so good. That looks so good. It feels pretty nice too. How's the how's the clasp here? I don't know. I, I dig it. I really dig it. These are all the classes, by the way, in Grand Archive. Um, I don't. I don't know if I can say them off the top of my head. So we have cleric, assassin, um, hunter, or ranger. This is either warrior or something akin to that. This might be the warrior one. This is the mage one, and then we have. Is it tamer? and paladin or guardian something like that something like that but anyway let's uh let's put these decks in here i think both of them will fit in one of these yeah <laughs> both of them will fit in one of them because the demo decks are pretty small but uh yeah that's awesome i could probably put some like dice or something in this side that's super cool um yeah so th there's that um let's set this to the side and we're gonna open this one. this is what i'm most excited about this sylvie deck box is freaking adorable and i the second i saw it i was like dude i need one of those <laughs> like, i'm like i really need one of those it is so cute um my <laughs> i said so to my girlfriend and i was so excited for it. she gave me a weird look i was like oh, look how cute it is she gave me a weird look um oh dude it's like this kind of like leather or like maybe even faux leather kind of texture look how cute look how freaking cute this is Oh, I love it. And then it has like the, the tissue pa paper to keep it to keep it nice. And, um, ooh, it's this really nice like embossing. Look at this. Oh, this cute little thing looks like my dog. <laughs> Dude, I have a little uh, long hair chihuahua. Dude, this is freaking adorable. Look how, look how cute this is. Um, got a little crud on there. Yo, this is, this is super nice. Oh, there's another cute little dog. Like right here, look at this. She just, this, this is aw this is awesome. Um, I don't think these are cheap. I think they were selling them for like 40 bucks, but um, obviously this is a premium product, right? For fans of Grand Archive. And I'm a huge fan of Grand Archive, if you couldn't tell. And I think this is freaking adorable. So I'm really, really, really happy about that. This is me throwing the, the boxes on the ground. I'm probably gonna reuse them for other things. This one's um, different material actually. So this one kind of feels like, um, I don't like felt almost where this one is like this nice leather. This is so cute. I love this deck box. Um, all right. And last but not least, let's open up this promotional two promotional packs. Yo, let's go, dude. They're both P22 one. We're gonna open these up. I'm the kind of person I'm not going to like keep these. I mean, I'm not going to keep them sealed or, you know, sell them or anything. I want the cards. And um, chances are I might play with the cards. Um, ooh, okay. I want to keep the packs in a little bit. Ooh, yo! Okay, hold on, hold on. We're, that, that's one. I probably should have just snipped them a little bit because that's what I did with my uh, my own promo pack. So I had a, a Grand Archive sent me a promo pack that had um, the promo code RZR. Um, and uh, hold on, hold on. Like I said, I want to keep these a little, little bit nice. A little bit nice. I don't want to ruin them too much. I should have got some scissors. I should have got some scissors. Ooh, they're both dungeon guides. Yo, okay. So, 
Dungeon Guide. Dungeon Guide is a really good card in Grand Archive. It lets you basically do something that you're only allowed to do once per turn. It lets you do that more than that. And so as, as such, I think it, it's a very, very strong card. Um, let's see if these are foil. I think the foil versions of these are the real spicy ones, but I don't care if they're if they're just regular versions or foil. I just I just want them because the art is done by Hanchu, the artist that I've talked about multiple times already. And so that alone just makes it very, very cool. I, I had to get at least one of these. So thank you so much for sending these to me, by the way. I really, really appreciate it. These will be, you know, cherished parts of my my collection and I'll, I'll probably play with them um, because I think they're awesome. And like I said, um, I, I think that it's just a really good card. And the art is by my favorite anime artist, Hanchu. As you can see, her name is down here. So that's awesome. You know what I, you know what I, should, I should do? I actually sent Han like a little care package recently, kind of similar to this, but with my own stuff. I sent her a copy of our new um, summer beach girls, you know, swimsuit uh, playmat that she did. She did the art for it, so I sent her a copy of the playmat. And I also sent her a bunch of Flesh and Blood stuff because I know her and her boyfriend uh, watch my content for Flesh and Blood. So I sent them some good stuff. And so I wonder if I could send her one of these good dungeon guides or both of them and have her sign them. That would be rad. Han, I don't know if you're watching this video. Would you be down for signing these for me? Um, I, it's, it's weird for me to ask that, um, but... Uh, yeah, no, this was super cool. This was this was a ton of fun. Um, yeah, I just want to, you know, say a huge thank you to the guys over at Grand Archive, um, the, the weebs of the shore guys. I, I truly believe in this game. It is so much fun. Like I said, I, you know, I went on eBay and bought the, uh, I bought the demo decks because I wasn't able, actually able to make it to AX or any of these expos. And so, you know, I, uh, I want to play with these. I'm going to do some gameplay soon. We might have a, another really fun collaboration with uh, the developers. I think that could be uh, really fun. So uh, stay tuned for that. Definitely going to have a lot more Grand Archive here on Red Zone Rogue. And uh, take another look at this freaking adorable Sylvie deck box, dude. It's so cute. It's so cute. Look at this. It's so cute. All right, <laughs> thanks again. This is the most I've ever said cute in a video. Uh, I'm super excited for these dungeon guides too. Th this is awesome. I do believe these ones are their final version of the cardstock, whereas the uh, the other demo decks that I have are on um, cardstock that was too thick. And so they wanna do um, make a little bit thinner cardstock. So I think th th these ones are the actual cardstock. So these are gonna be um, playable. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think of Grand Archive in the comments down below. Are you ex as excited as I am? If you are and you didn't back the Kickstarter, the um, all the Kickstarter product is going to be launching in the next few months. Um, it's probably gonna be very expensive because it, it, it was limited, you know? Um, I would say just, just hold on, wait for the Alter Edition, which is the Unlimited Edition, and pick that up. You know, talk to your local game store, try to get them to carry it. And um, yeah, that, that's basically it. Um, by, by the starter decks or try to get the demo decks too. Um, the demo decks, um, at least for your LGS, once they get the official versions, they're gonna be free. So um, you should ask your LGS about carrying Grand Archive. Thank you so much for watching everyone. We'll see you next time.